Hey Tickies! Okay, today we are doing Neon Abstract. Now this is inspired by Lauren from Wildflowers Nails. I've just called it Neon Abstract because I have no idea what else to call it because she didn't actually name it when she posted it on Instagram. I found this photo a couple of weeks ago actually on uh, the Explore page on Instagram and I was just floored and blown away and had to give it a go. I have no idea how she did her original one. I imagine she used um, I don't know if she used the same sort of stuff that I'm using. But anyway, I really hope you like this one. Let's get into it. Now firstly, you want to start by painting all of your nails white. I'm using OPI's Put A Coat On. Next, we're using a matte top coat. I'm using I&M Nails Out The Door Matte Top Coat. The reason I do that is that we're using acrylic craft paint today and it provides a much better surface for painting with acrylic paints. Now this is the craft paint I'm using. It's all neon colours and I just bought it from a regular craft store. It's just non-toxic craft paint available pretty much everywhere. So I'm also using a palette. You can use anything you like just to hold the paint. Uh, we are going to be adding quite a bit of water to each of these um, paints. So uh, you want to have a device or something that has like a little well in it like these two. These are really cheap at craft stores too by the way, these little palettes. So we want to put quite a bit of water into a very small amount of the acrylic paint because we want it to be quite watered down. I'll also be using a little bit of black acrylic paint and a little bit of white acrylic paint as well and again we're going to water it down quite a bit. Now to start with we're going to be using a gold polish which is called High Off Hollow from Painted Polish by Lexi but any loaded up glitter polish uh, with fine glitters in it will do. The reason that we're painting with this first is we want to clearly define the, the area between what's going to stay white and what's going to be coloured. It's really important that you do this first. So once you've marked out your area with the gold polish, and remember you don't have to wait for that gold polish to dry, you can just start painting with the colours straight away. What you're going to do is come in with the acrylic paint that's clearly very watered down, probably a little bit too watered down, but that's alright. You're going to come in and you're going to bring your different colours in, uh, you can paint them wherever you like. Now if you have too much water in your paint, you can actually come in with a dry brush and suck it, or a Q-tip as well and suck out a little bit of that water and then come back in so that you can strengthen up that colour. It's almost like the bubble nail art which I do have a video on my YouTube channel uh, for that. So I will link that down in the description box so you can go and see that as well. But it's kind of like a similar process and depending on how strong you want the colours will depend on how often, how quick or how more, oh, sorry can't speak, or how, how often you come back in with each colour. Now for this particular nail art we want to clearly define, or not clearly, but sort of define the colour areas, so the blue and the yellow and the pink and the green. So I'm doing that with the watered down black acrylic paint and then we're going to come back in over the top of that with that same gold polish that we used before. Now on this nail you can see that I have created uh, a clear chamber or of white in the middle and then putting the colour on the outside towards the tip and near the cuticle. So you, you can create whatever kind of shapes you like, you can do chevrons, you can do, I mean seriously you can do anything, anything you like. Again, no rules, whatever you like, except for that gold polish, that's a rule, put that first.
Don't forget to seal everything in with a good quality top coat. I'm using Sesh Feet. Now as per usual, all the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below. That's it. I really hope you like this one. I really hope you give it a go. It's so much fun. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. Thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.